A sudden diplomatic skirmish in the last leg of the UPA government put the already limping Indo-US ties on deep freeze. Now, armed with a stable government and riding on a huge diplomatic wave, Modi will look to take India's partnership with the US forward. But can Modi draw enough leverage or will it be just another handshake, just another photo op for the cameras? He's heading to the United States on a presidential invite. But as the leader of 125 crore people, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will have to raise a whole set of thorny issues with Barack Obama. The most recent sticking point being India's veto at WTO, where India blocked a deal on trade facilitation, citing concern on limiting food subsidies. As I see the past five years, things have gone on a slope um, that would negatively slope from an investment point of view. But now, I mean, everybody's full of hope. But it's only 100 days for Mr. Modi, so you know, we'll see. You know, the pace of change is slow. Also on Modi's mind will be US visa restrictions on Indian IT workers that have put Indian IT firms at a distinct disadvantage. The nuclear deal is stuck in a limbo ever since the US began protesting against India's liability clause. We salute India's long history as a leading contributor to United Nations peacekeeping missions. And we welcome India as it prepares to take its seat on the United Nations Security Council. Even that promise made by Barack Obama on a permanent UNSC seat for India is far from being fulfilled. The target that we have set ourselves of uh, sitting at the high table of the Security Council as a permanent member is something that is uh, that grows more relevant uh, with each passing uh, year. But the downturn in diplomatic ties came in December last year, when an Indian diplomat was arrested and subjected to a humiliating strip search. Ever since then, the differences are out in the open, from Crimea to sanctions against Iran to resolution against Sri Lanka. India has taken a stand completely opposite to the United States. While India has taken a tough stand on the crisis between Russia and Ukraine, in fact going to the extent of calling the incidents in Ukraine not good and bad for the humanity, many say it is time for India to speak more vehemently on global issues that confront the diplomatic world on the international fora. After visiting Japan and hosting Xi Jinping, several challenges await Modi as he prepares to engage Barack Obama in what is billed as India's big power push. Bureau Report, Times Now.